So welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and my adventures in infamy, infamy. So um, did a video a little while ago, um, uh, a few days ago anyway, talking about uh, the different figures I'd collected for my uh, infamy German uh, project that I want to do, uh, mainly based around the Vitrix um, plastic figures. Um, and I've been busy making them up um, and oops, stuck to my hand there and, and actually quite impressed with them they go together pretty well um, I've heard a lot of people complain about um, the instructions because well that's the instructions <laughs> um, but actually you know what I didn't find it too difficult and I'm not a modeler um, so just a bit of uh, well, I've got an edging tool somewhere I use it anyway Bit of, I won't do that now while I'm doing the video, um, but I, I like the figures. I think they're really good. Um, there's a little bit of a seam down the middle of them, but they're, they're what do you expect? I mean, they're, they're plastic models. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised, actually. I think they're really nice. Much better than I expected, actually. Um, so, yeah. There you go. So I've, um, I've still got loads to make up because there were like 60 in the bag, right? So um, what I've been trying to do is just um, make them up into sort of groups um, or mobs as I think they're called. So this is my first mob here. Um, oh, can't see it. So this is my first mob here. Um, this is 10 of these fellas and i'm just going to do the cleaning up as you saw there's a few mold lines on some of them i do like him eh? he's a really good figure um and i've just literally randomized everything um which i think is the best way when you're making a big unit this guy's got a big cloak on him um and i'm going to clean them all up and varnish and um uh undercoat them now one thing I will say, and I took this from um, um, Rich's video that he did on, on the his Germanic forces, he made the point that a sword was extremely um, expensive uh, in, in ancient times, you know, sort of equivalent of having a Maserati or a Lamborghini or something like that. And swords were obviously handed down uh, because in the Germanic culture, um, sort of the metalwork necessary to make a good quality blades was really quite tough so the majority of warriors had clubs axes um, cheap bladed weapons of some sort and, and spears and javelins um, so I have decided that um, and the way he did it was he had his um, elite warriors um, with swords um, because visually there's not an awful lot of difference none of them really wear any armor um, so I've done the same. So I put a lot of the, um, I basically tried to keep all the weapons that are just sort of cheap weapons like spears and clubs and axes for my regular dudes and the guys with the swords, like this one, they will go into the, um, bodyguard, whatever they are. I can't, I don't know what they're called, but the, the higher quality um nobles that the uh, the gallic army us uh, that the uh, germanic army has i mean they're just i'm really impressed um my original plan uh, when you saw the army uh, was to s to also build some um uh, auxiliary um sort of batavarians who'd rebelled against the germans um and build an army of them or build a few units of them to go in the army and i found all these old figures um, that these are Gallic auxiliary, but they're not not very good. Um, when I made them up and then compared them to, this is the auxiliary that you can create from the um, from the Vitrix pack. There's just no comparison. I mean, a, it's a lot smaller. That doesn't bother me particularly, um, but um, not impressed. Not impressed at all with that figure. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to try and make them up from um, from the bodies I've got. Now what I might also do is just buy a sprue or two of um, 
of germ of uh, German of um, Roman auxiliary, and then use some of the spare Roman heads to put on top um, because I want to have some of those uh, auxiliary type. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, auxiliary types in my army, but I want them to look like that and not that. And um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Oh, just this glue just gave out there. Um, I have, however, pinched a couple of their big legionary shields because I think they're quite cool. So there'll be a few of those in there. So, yeah, a bit disappointed with those. But um, hey-ho, uh, it just shows the Vitrix ones are actually really good. So first up, I'm going to paint um, these 10 figures. Um, and I oh, just lost his head. Uh, I'm just going to paint up these 10 infantry and um, I'll be back when the undercoat's done. So I've made up um, all my models into, well, I've assembled every single one of the models and I've compiled them into uh, into the sort of mobs that I'm going to use them for. Um, so I think I've got about four um, regular warrior mobs. Um, and then I've got a unit of 10 um, who I'm going to use as the elite foot. So the way I've done that is I've given all the elite guys swords. Um, and I will paint them up with a higher quality kind of, um, you know, much more fanciful outfits that they'll be wearing. Whereas the bulk of the warriors will be just wearing, you know, sort of normal drab clothing. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm planning to do. Um, so as, as with always the case with my figures, um, well, nowadays anyway, um, after the clean up and the assembly, well, the assembly and then the clean up, um, I stick them to their base. Um, so I know some people, you know, use popsicle sticks and some people use those very fancy holders. For me, I just put them on the bases, super glue them down. That to me is enough. Um, sometimes in the past with other figures, I've taken, you know, put the shields on at the very end. But these ones, on the whole, most of the shields are quite away from the bodies, so I'm not so bothered. Uh, at least I know they're going to be stuck on and stuck on well. So yeah, so assembled. Um, any kind of flash worked off as much as I can, um, and stuck down to the base, and the shield stuck on. Then these have been sprayed with, as you can see, a light grey uh, priming. Um, this, in this case, I used Halford's um, light grey prime, um, and it, it, it's one I really swear by. I think it, it's very cheap for a very big can of um, of paint, um, and um, does the job really, really nicely. So. That I do them in bunches of whatever the, the unit's going to be. So in this case, they're 10, so I'm painting 10 at a time. And all I've been doing is basically going through... Let me just bring in some more of these fellas. So these are in states of undress at the moment. So I'm basically all I've done with these fellas is I've put a light... Um, a base skin tone which is just this pale skin scale color i don't know where i got this one from i don't think it really matters but just a really pale um, skin tone i put on i've done the hair for most of them um, and i've put the block colors of the of the, the clothing um, as i said i'm trying to keep the sort of rank and file the normal warriors wearing fairly drab colors um, and then keep the decent stuff for the for the other guys. These ones have put these got white trousers on, so I'm going to try and put some stripes on those later on. But at the moment, that's all I'm doing is is basically just um, putting on the main colours, so the 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 trousers, the any kind of um, cape that they they're using, making sure the inside of the um, uh, inside of the shields is browned. Haven't done all the metal work in there yet. Um, just done the the main colors the shoes and of course the skin tone and the hair <clears throat> and that's pretty much it so what i next do once that's all dry thoroughly um this is how i increasingly do my skin tones i i, I 
been using this for quite a while now. well in the last i don't know six months or so um so on that really pale um, skin tone i use this contrast paint gilliman's flesh and i really like the effect this has so um all i do is get this but it's pretty much bare just apply it over the top of the skin hopefully that's showing up is that showing up there we go try not to let it pull so just draw it down the legs like this under his armpits to his face that skins that's visible try not to get it on the actual loincloth he's wearing doesn't matter so much on this spear because I haven't actually done the spear yet as you can see let's put a good amount on the other thing you can see I've done I forgot to mention that is um, put a white pure white on the top of the shield because the transfer is going to go on there and that will stand out better right looks like he's got rather overdone it on the um, suntan bed there by the look of it or some sort of fake tan you can see it's already starting to dry and it dries a really nice color so let me bring in this guy so if you can see him um, he's actually pretty good color the combination of the skin tone this uh, Gulliman's over the top of the pale skin I think gives a really nice effect and I really like it when I then darken it down with them um, uh, you can see this guy as well when I then darken it down with them um, um, a wash and it gets varnished and then um, dry brushed at the end it really helps and really brings or really sort of helps to bring out the animation of the figure you can see all his ribs and everything else so so that's what I do um, and that's what I'll finish off with the rest of this 10 and then I will be back with the next stage so you can see the now the skin tone has dried um, it leaves a rather nice effect, I think. Um, and certainly once I get round to um, putting some washes on these, um, the, the effect is even better. So um, I finished the figures off largely with the main colours. Um, done the, kept the trousers and everything largely uh, darker colours, although there's some exceptions. <laughs> this guy here, rather bright, um, and done some stripes on him. Um, done their hairs, finished their um, their boots or their soft, I suppose they would have been the soft leather shoes of some sort mostly. Uh, the shafts of the weapons and the blades. Blades were just done in the same way as I do armour. So using um, the contrast grey paint and then sort of heavy brushed over the top with the silver. Um, you can see I picked out any kind of bangles and torques they have around their necks. Um, I've also done their eyes. Um, well, I've just put blodges of white where the eyes should be and used the little big man transfers on the white shield fronts. Um, and yeah, quite happy how these have come out so far. Um, you can see this guy I've done. Uh, I've put some some sort of stripes on his uh, trousers to try and um, give a little bit of variety I'm trying not to make these the rank and file guys too um, colorful um, because they're just the normal Joes right um, so you know this guy I've done a slightly fancier oops sorry bash the camera doing a, done a slightly fancier um, cloak um, you can see where where I cut this arm off this wasn't the correct arm and I've hidden it by making a bangle around where the joint is I think that works reasonably well um, so yeah also used um, the Mediterranean 
uh, basing material from Luke's APS. Let's get down a bit, there you go. Um, oops. Use the Mediterranean basing material from Luke's APS uh, to do the bases. Just applied that the way I always do. Uh, lashings of PVA glue onto the figure um, and um, then just dunk it in a pot of, uh, of the APS stuff, leave it to dry um, and that's how it is now. Um, so next up I'm going to give these guys a wash. Um, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use um, this stuff, uh, Quick Army Painter Strong Tone and wash all over the figures um, and then they're going to uh, get varnished and we'll be back for the final stage of turning these beauties into horrors. Back in a bit. So um, I have now varnished and um, dry brushed the, um, the figures using a um, technique I've shown several times on the channel uh, using um, uh, Iraqi sand from Vallejo, literally just dry brushing it over the top with a big headed brush, taking off as much off the paint as of the paint off the brush as possible. Um, and I like the effects. I think it, it um, you can see it just sort of uh, deadens the uh, the colours down even further, makes them look a little bit muddier, which is the kind of look I'm looking for look I'm looking for if you see what I mean um, and I think it just makes the figure look sort of almost uh, tones in some of the colors so yeah so they're done so there's the, the complete regiment uh, or mob I think we're supposed to call it um, so I look at it on the turntable I'm quite pleased how these group these guys came out this is um, my second mob done um, and I think out of that bag of, um, of Vectrix figures I'm going to have five mobs and then a, a, a mob of um, five sort of um, normal warrior mobs and then f uh, a unit of um, nobles um, veteran or what are they called elite uh, warriors which are the sort of bodyguard the oath sworn guys um, and I think that will give me everything I need really um, I think the overall oops, a bit of dust on that one um, and I think the, the the combined effect of them all deployed should be pretty good okay so in fact let's look at them on mass here's what I've done so far uh, the two um, normal warrior blocks uh, that I've painted up so far you can see a very similar technique um, they've come out very nicely I've used the shield transfers from little big man and I've tried to take the the less colorful shield patterns uh, with the normal warriors and I'm going to use the more colorful colorful versions with the um, elites uh, just on the principle that those guys would be the more wealthy therefore the better equipped and um, you know would look better um, at the back here um, my first I think I'm going to have two uh, um, units of Batavarian um, ex auxiliary troops that have deserted and joined uh, the compatriots back in the um, uh, the German army um, and these are a mixed bag so um, I'm not sure some of these guys at the back these are um, uh, warlord um, legionaries that I've basically chopped the heads off I couldn't get any auxiliary um, I showed that I'd got those Gallic um, these are someone tells me front rank figures um, and I just didn't think they were good enough um, so I'm not going to use them so I instead I, I realized I had a sprue that I think came off one of the magazines of um, Roman infantry and I'm not going to use them so I decided I would um, chop the heads off and use some of the spare heads from the Vitrix figures on those bodies and um, yeah you can see this guy here this guy here this guy here um, are all conversions uh, using that in fact this guy I'm particularly pleased about I um, I took off uh, I used the arm from whoops try not to get too close to lose my hand there um, so I used that the arm from one of the Gallic um, 
guys and then I chopped the shoulder plates off the legionary and stuck them down so the head's been changed the um he's got the 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 shoulder pla shoulder pads if that's epaulette type affair to match the other side and then I put him I put a um a um a germanic shield on him um and um i think the effect's pretty good i'm quite pleased with that now i don't know whether the exilis had the full legionary um kilt is that what they call it whatever the sporran um that uh, uh it, but um i know the legionaries did but i don't know whether the auxili did so but um i think the effect's okay it'll do um i may try and get some more um proper auxili figures i was trying to get some sprues online but um um, nobody seems to be selling them at any half decent price they're ridiculously priced and i don't really want to buy a whole pack of uh, of roman auxili from vitrix so um that'll do for the time being so i'm going to have let's say five units of uh, the regular uh, um regular war warriors so um each of 10 so that's 50 troops plus another five another 10 um, um elite uh, warriors and then two units of eight um, Batavarian um, ex auxili troops, and that'll that'll be basically my war band done. And then I'll have some, uh, as you saw from my unboxing, I'll have the the fanatics, some archers, some slingers, and some cavalry as well to go on top, um, and of course some of the heroes. So I think um, it's come together well. Pleased with how the figures have, have started. I think the effect is very nice. Um, and actually painting them up has been very easy and quite enjoyable as well. Um, so there we go. That's where I am now. So I hope your projects are going well. I hope uh, those of you who are into infamy, infamy, I guess you wouldn't be this far into this video if you hadn't, uh, if you weren't. Um, but I hope if you are into infamy, infamy, you've got your rule set through and you're enjoying reading it. I certainly am. And, um, look forward to seeing all the battle reports and all the comments uh, online about the rule system so stay safe stay well and i'll see you again soon this is dom signing out mm -hmm.